As you know, on this program, if you've heard me talking, was it earlier this week on Monday, talking to the boneheads that have been um, uh, so, so-called climate or restore rail protesters who were hanging off Mount Vic Tunnel yesterday and just being a complete pain up the rectum to Wellington commuters and people going to school and going about their lawful business. I talked to one of them. I thought he was a bit of a moron, to be honest. Um, worried about sea level rise, which isn't happening, and climate change, which isn't really happening. Um, but he thought that gave him the right to mess with people's lives. There's another big protest coming, and it's for what the organisers say is a legitimate reason. But how big is it going to be? And I have to, to apply the rule equally, say, is it going to disrupt the lives of otherwise law-abiding citizens? Uh, it's Groundswell's latest protest against the new proposals for emission taxes on the agricultural uh, sector by 2025. And one of the organisers and co-founders of the group Groundswell is Bryce McKenzie. And Bryce McKenzie joins us now. Bryce, welcome to the platform. Nice to have you with us. Yes, good morning, Sean, and thank you very much. It's good to be here. All right. So what have you got planned for tomorrow? Oh, we've got uh, a tractor, uh, I suppose there'll be some trucks, uh, utes and cars protest mostly, but we're welcoming people on foot as, uh, as well. And we're going to uh, concentrate on uh, the four major cities, uh, Auckland, Wellington, Christchurch and Dunedin. Auckland, well, OK, so you're going to have the, the, the farmers turning up with their, ag- let's say their agricultural equipment or their agricultural vehicles mm-hmm. and you're going to drive certain routes in the cities, in the four major cities. So that's Auckland, Hamilton, Wellington, Christchurch. No, yeah, the, well, I think there is going to actually be one in Hamilton, but uh, we're, we're certainly not promoting them outside the four main cities. We're saying if people want to do that, that's fine. Yeah, OK. And we know that some of them are doing it. OK, what are the four names? Is Hamilton not one of the four main cities? No, well, it's we Dunedin. still say Dunedin is here. Yeah. OK, because you've got quite a few of your members from down there. All right, I want to ask you, exactly. I want to ask you on behalf of New Zealanders who won't be protesting... Are you mm-hmm. going to mess with their lives tomorrow? Oh, I can't help but mess with people's lives, Sean. Sure. That's one of the sad aspects of uh, protesting is the fact that you're going to interfere with someone else's life to some extent, even if it's just a matter of you're only doing 40 kilometres an hour on the road and they want to do 100, although that's uh, probably not safe anymore because the roads aren't in that good order, but that's another story. So maybe, uh, yes, we are going to interfere with them. So you are going to disrupt up. traffic and the lives of law-abiding New Zealanders tomorrow? Yeah, but we're still going to do that by being law-abiding, so it's not as if we're breaking the law to do it. So, uh, yeah, definitely are, Sean. I, I mean, I could say we're not going to, but we've got to be real. Uh, I, appre- it. I appreciate your honesty. I appreciate your honesty. Yeah. So if I am a law-abiding citizen who's not taking part in the groundswell protest, how do I avoid you tomorrow? Well, if you've got appointments in any of those main centres for any reason at all, I would advise you to give yourself, uh, depending how far you're travelling, but give yourself at least twice the time you would normally take to do that because you're going to get held up. There's no doubt about it. Now, we'll try and be respectful and pull off the roads if there's any build-up of traffic, but... I mean, that comes back to individuals, so I can tell you all I like here, but you all, we all know... What about if I'm in an the, ambulance and I'm wanting to get to hospital, right? Yes. No, definitely we've told everybody and made it quite plain. Emergency vehicles, you just get out of the road immediately. There's no holding them up. So that's one thing we're very conscious of is emergency vehicles. All right. How many people do you think will take part tomorrow... And if we could go centre by centre? Look, it, it's really hard to get a handle on. We're getting really fantastic response. We've got to take into account that this is probably the busiest time of the year because that's uh, for farmers, and yeah. we always know that the government's going to make ridiculous announcements when uh, we'll find it hard to motivate people to stand against them. So it's... Um, it, it's hard to gauge. Christchurch, uh, we've, we've probably got a better handle on that. Uh, we think there could be upwards of 2,000 there. 
Uh, Dunedin's very hard to tell. Uh, there'll be thousands there. I just don't know how many thousands. And Wellington is probably going to be the hardest one because you can only come one way into Wellington. And there's not a lot of tractors and that sort of thing until you get oh, out of Wellington. Oh, thank goodness for that. Yeah. <laughs> and Auckland, they're coming both ways into Auckland from north and south. So, uh, no, I, I couldn't say, Sean. Uh, but it will be gridlocked in places. There's no doubt about it. Mind you, o- Auckland's like that in a good day. So yeah, I'll, who I'll would tell the difference? Who would tell, yeah, know exactly. the difference in Auckland, Bryce? Um, exactly. Bryce, what is it that you are protesting? What do you want the government to do? Abandon the emissions tax for ag se- at the ag sector? Yeah, look, we want no emissions tax on food production is what we really want. Uh, you know, the Paris Accord states that there, um, that there shouldn't be a reduction in emissions at the pro- cost of food production. It states that clearly. Mm. So we believe the government's gone outside that. We believe that the showcasing for the world at the cost of rural communities and just the New Zealand economy in general. Yeah. All right, Bryce. Well, look, I, I say I hope things go smoothly tomorrow. Uh, you have a right to protest. I think it is a pity, and I have to criticise you as, as I criticise the people disrupting Wellington traffic on a, every morning for the last wee while. I do wish you could do it without messing with other people's lives. That'd be kind of good, wouldn't it? Oh, no, that would be good, Sean. And I mean, that's probably worth the debate sometime, is how people do get a message across without actually disturbing other people's lives. Because, I mean, I've never been a protester. I've gone my whole life and never protested. And now I'm protesting. So it comes reasonably difficult for me because I used to abuse those people. So um, for me, it, I don't do it easily because I don't like being held up either. Mm. So, uh, but you know, this is looking at 20% of sheep and beef farms and 6% of dairy farms gone. Well, you know, if you yeah. go to the protest tomorrow, that's one in five of those people will be, won't be farming by 2030. Now, that's, that's pretty major. Mm. I hear Just a little, a few, you know, I've got a little bit of, Financial data here. Mm, okay, where you uh, go? Yeah, well, look, and I mean, they could be anybody's figures, really, because there'll be a lot of different figures come out. But a direct loss of production of about three point seven billion, and then it depends how many times you want to multiply that going through the economy. A lot say between five and six times. Well, that's twenty two point two billion out of the economy. Now that's big figures. Mm. Somebody said, oh, that's 14 hospitals, and, I mean, that's what it is. Yeah, I hear you, Bryce. And where are you going to be tomorrow? I'm going to Dunedin, so I've got a four-hour tractor drive to get there. Um, so there's there's quite a crew of them. Oh, you better get Dunedin. the thermos filled up there, Bryce. It's a long <laughs> drive on the back of the Massey Ferguson what? or the John Deere or whatever it is you drive, yeah, well, or the Kubota. Well, worth speaking about, because you're talking about the vehicles now, I know what's going to happen. We'll get blamed for burning all this fossil fuel getting there. Mm. And we'll get blamed for having... Oh, someone's got to burn it. Bryce, I wouldn't worry about that. (laughs) (laughs) And the $200,000 machine, so we're going to get... Yeah, and you have. People have said, oh, look at all, how much are their tractors worth? (laughs) Well, the thing is that very few of us own them. Yeah, the (laughs) bank does. uh, Well, the companies that build them nowadays... Yeah. They have very, very attractive rates for people to actually pay Least. them off over periods of time. time. Yeah. So, and and they are very, very efficient. Most of these tractors now are more efficient than your cars. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, they are super efficient. The, the computerisation in them is uh, unbelievable. So we, we feel we're doing our bit for the, uh, <laughs> the environment by having up-to-date vehicles. Sean's, uh, get on your, get and I'd say watch out for the potholes. We are talking about them later in the program, <laughs> later today. Bryce, oh, good yeah, luck, yeah, good well. luck for it. Um, we might talk you and talk to you in the wash up uh, and see how it went. I thank you for your time uh, this morning. That is Bryce McKenzie, co-founder of Groundswell. Um, four main centres track to protest tomorrow. Uh, he's giving us a heads up. He says that might cause traffic problems. Yeah, what are you saying, Kelly?
Yep. Got the uh, Restore Passenger Rail protesters standing in the middle of Transmission Gully, State Highway 1 now, causing an absolute nightmare. Boneheads. Southbound. It's blocked. South, I'm going to send an, an arrest team out to get them. Yeah, well, the cops and the um, the roading people can't actually get through the queue to deal with them at the moment. So. Helicopter. Helicopter yeah, time. I think you could find a helicopter uh, this morning. So, um, the and as I said, I couldn't basically not give groundswell the same questions about disrupting people's lives as these absolute idiots around Wellington at the moment. The Restore Rail, it's got nothing to do with Restore Rail. It's got something to do with a bunch of young, hairy, armpitted, sandal-wearing smellies um, just messing with people's lives, to be honest. 